Mr. Monk. Derek just wanted to stop in and say goodbye. They found a full-time replacement for the class. She's coming in tomorrow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Monk. A good teacher merely explains. A great one inspires. I think you could have been a great teacher. Well, I'll still be here. Just won't be teaching. Oh, yes, your hypothetical murder investigation. How is that going? Pretty well, actually. Thanks for asking. We just got a big break. Her, her eyeglasses. Eyeglasses? That's why I now always wore glasses. Seems she was blind without them. But uh, they weren't near her body or on the roof. Where are they, you suppose? I don't know. No, we'll find them. Tomorrow morning, there'll be about 200 police cadets here, searching every square inch of the campus. We'll find them. And when we do, we'll, we'll know where Beth Landau was killed. Uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Working late, Mr. Philby. What's going on? Mr. Philby, you're under arrest for murder in the first degree. Special circumstances. <laughs> Come on. That's insane. I told you. I was proctoring the SATs at the time, we know. It took me forever to figure out how you pulled it off. But then it hit me. You killed Beth Landau before the test started. You met her on the clock tower roof that morning at about 8 o'clock, 20 minutes before the test. Then you killed her. And you carried her body down the stairs to the clock room. This was inspired. She fell all right, but not from the roof. She fell from the clock. You laid her body out on the minute hand. It was 8.15. So the hand was perfectly horizontal. The SATs were to begin at 8.20. You had five minutes to get back to the classroom. Plenty of time. And you let gravity do the rest. It was just like one of your science experiments. You took a pretty big risk, Philby, hiding the body in plain sight. But it wasn't such a bad bet. That side of the tower faced the athletic field, which on a Saturday morning was completely deserted. Tick tock. Until 8.25, when the body slid off the clock and landed on your car. You made sure that the alarm was activated so that everyone would know exactly when she fell. It was a perfect alibi. It was only one problem. The groundskeeper just happened to see you. But you took care of him later. I told you, Mr. Monk, a theory is just that, unless you have some proof. It's true. I don't have any proof. But you do. It's in your hand. Oh, you see, I... I found these on the roof. I think they're Beth Landau's. I think you're looking for them. You didn't find them on the roof. You found them in the clock room under the gearbox, because I put them there two hours ago. Only Beth Landau's killer would have known to look for them there. QED, quote, era demonstratum. Thus it is proved. Get him out of here. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out.